Hey guys and welcome back to this brand new video. Today I want to show you how to make a FIFA 20 thumbnail. So I'm going to start right away by making a new. Uh, it's going to be 920 pixels by 1080. Be sure you do that because that's every video and every thumbnail on YouTube is mostly 920 by 1080 pixels. Resolution 300. It's pretty much the maximum on YouTube right now so I would uh, keep it at that. Uh, RGB color is the one that I recommend. Uh, this is a preference. I'm just going to keep the background on white. And then I'm going to click OK. I'm going to start right away by placing uh, the background image that I'm going to use, which is this one right here. Uh, it's, it's a Rio wallpaper, I believe it's in Rio. And I think it looks good. It's definitely a place where I would uh, play soccer. Okay, so I guess this, but to keep the quality. There we go. That's, that's a little better. Let's just keep it at that. So I guess a little bit under the middle. It's okay like that. Okay, so then I'm going to place a black and white over it. Um, don't worry, it will look good in a second. Uh, and I'm going to also place this one uh, above it. It's a rectangle. I'm just going to use that as a multiply. You're going to see what I'm going to do. Uh, there we go. So I'm going to click here on normal. And uh, be sure it's selected on this one here. Um, I'm going to do multiply. As you can see, it nicely covers the, uh, the whole image. Uh, but now I'm going to insert something, which is adjustments. I'm going to do a brightness slash contrast. And that's going to make it look better like we can adapt like the brightness and contrast so i guess i want to have the brightness pretty up i guess not too much but quite let's do around 90 and then the contrast pretty much all the way up contrast is always something you can put pretty high because it looks really good yeah you don't see a really huge distance uh you, you don't see a really huge difference um, like this from distance, but it definitely uh, improves. I guess I'm going to add a second one, just to add some more contrast to it. There we go. That looks nice, as you can see. It really adds some good contrast to the image. But it's around 85. That's ah, good. I like it like that. I, I do like it like that. It's not really mu much to add right now. Uh, but okay, I'm going to do the second thing now. I'm going to import the logo, because that's also something we need to put in the image, which is this one. Just gonna make it a little smaller for the moment and then gonna place it and everything. Um, so, first of all, let's make it white so that it actually jumps out of the image. Because, like, right now, it doesn't really help anything. So, color overlay. I guess this is the. Yeah, this is 100% white. Alright, it's just gonna do it like that. And we don't actually want this here. This is not look, gonna look really good. Um, this uh, official licensed product thing. So, I'm gonna take this tool right here. It's called Rectangular Market Tool. I'm just going to do around around the 20 here. I'm just going to do like this. There we go. I'm going to be sure I have the logo selected. I'm going to do rasterize layer. And then I, could do, and then I can do backspace. And I'll take out that part of the image. So this select. There we go. And now we have just the FIFA logo without the support thing or whatever it was. So now I'm going to make it smaller and actually put it in the right corner. Because I guess for this video the right corner looks good. Uh, okay, let's see. We also need to know a little bit the size so we can look from distance. Uh, it can be a little bigger. Let's do 80 for now. Let's see how that looks. I'm actually going to go with 86 here. Uh, looks good. Yeah, I'm like this. Let's keep it like that. So I click OK. Um, so the next thing we're going to do is I'm going to add the text underneath, which, as usual, I always type thumbnail tutorial just to, to make it clear and everything. So let's put this at 50. And the font, um, I was about to use a font. Let's see, one that fits pretty well. And that font was Balls of Bastille. This one works really well. So let's just type thumbnail. Gotta make that white, by the way. Uh, underneath, I'm going to type tutorial. Tutorial. There we go. This should be the middle of the image. It looks also like a good distance. I like this. A little bit up. There we go. I'm going to make a group uh, of these. So I'm going to hold control. And I'm going to click both of them. Still hold control and click G. That will make a group. And in this group, I'm going to give them a outer glow there we go uh, doesn't have too much doesn't have to be uh too less let's say 
so this is pretty up um let me think uh so i'm just gonna mess with this all right i found that 16 and 106 is not bad at all um from close up it may look a lot but as you can see from distance it looks quite good and it's enough for me to keep this so let's keep it at that um, let's put a little bit down because the logo is still up here so it's better a little bit to put it a little bit more down here. And I was thinking of using a um, gradient overlay for the thumbnail. And I actually have these two colors here. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. So I'm going to go ahead and click on thumbnail, the actual word. There we go. Double click on it. And I'm going to add a gradient overlay. There we go. Just click here. And it should be this one because this one is always the one that you have prepared right here. So there you go click that okay um, and that looks good but I actually thinking about reversing it or keeping it like this because if I click or unclick in this case reverse you'll say it be like this and otherwise it'll be like this I guess I'm gonna go for this it jumps more out you know it's it's more attractive let's say um, so let's keep it like that we're of course not gonna forget to add the outer glow to the logo so there we go we're gonna add that outer glow um, let's see how much that is that should be the same amount as oh no it's a little bit less um you know what this is good there's not a lot of difference uh, with this logo so i'm gonna do that 1515 that's uh, good to me it works well it's not there's really not much to add to that see how that looks from distance that's the most important because as you know people look at your thumbnails from distance mostly so let's put a little bit up still okay so it looks better if it's a little bit more up than down it's good to know all right let's keep it like that for the moment and I'm going to add another important element here, which is the player, which you might have seen already. It's Virgil van Dijk. Uh, he's Dutch. I'm also Dutch. So I got to give him, I got to give him that wink, you know, that eye wink from, like he's Dutch. He's like the first one who has made it to a FIFA cover, I believe. Not sure. Maybe I'm saying something that's wrong. But I mean, he's Dutch. I just, I just had to place him, you know, he's on that FIFA 20 cover, uh, at least one of them. So, so I have to be kind of proud here, you know, I'm going to place him in here. So now it, it's not the most HD image right now, but don't worry, we're going to change that up. Um, for now, it's important where to place them. Guess a little bit more like that. There we go. That, that should be good, right? That's, don't have to mess too much with that. That looks good. Um, just going to place them like that. First of all, what we're going to do, um, I'm going to make them black and white by uh, clicking that right here underneath. So I'm going to click here, black, white. There we go. And uh, because it's going to make the whole image black, white now, be sure you click on it and create a clipping mask so that it attaches itself to uh, Virgil van Dijk. Next up, we're going to add some adjustments here. So I'm going to click adjustments and contrast. We do need a little bit of that to make a more HD if you want, you know, so I'm going to do that. Um, doesn't have to be too bright because now it's going to be too bright. So let's me put, let me just put this a little bit down for the moment, like 42. And going to add that contrast, a lot of contrast, you know. Uh, I know we're gonna need more, like at least the second one, because that's mostly the case with uh, if you do persons in thumbnail. Gonna add some more as you can see. Now it starts to look really good. Uh, I'm not sure if you have to max out this one. I guess it's already good right now, right? 95. Let's keep it at that. Let's put the opacity a little bit up, but not too much either. That's hard. And uh, there we go. I like that. Yeah, it looks good. So now I'm going to add a la last thing here, which is a layer. I'm going to be sure it's inserted with the create clipping mask. And I'm going to zoom out like two times, something like that. And I'm going to add the paintbrush here. And it's, it should be in this color here. This is my main color, like the background and this one here. So I just use this one. And actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to, and I'm going to add, maybe you can already see it. So I'm going to add some blue to him. Let's go um like this maybe a little more normally it's a circle but now i have this pointer that i don't really like because it's harder to actually know what you're doing but the idea here is that we add blue on both sides of him there we go that should be good right all right guys i'm gonna leave it at that um this is the final image right here this is the thumbnail as you can see, it's not really that hard. Uh, it looks pretty good uh, like this. You can make it to whatever you want, you know, um, first gameplay and matches, pack openings, whatever you want. Um, here's a good idea. 
here's just here's an idea on how you could make a fifa 20 thumbnail in any case i hope you enjoyed this video of course i hope it helped and please leave a like would be really nice subscribe would also be really nice and I hope to see you guys in my next video goodbye